Here's the first puzzle. We have six ice cream sticks arranged in a certain way, and the goal is to make four triangles using them. The challenge is that you are only allowed to make one move. This means you can move just one stick, no more. You cannot add any extra sticks, and you cannot break or bend the ones already there. All the sticks must stay whole and be used as they are. Here's the solution. So as I said, we simply need to make four triangle by moving this stick and turning it into a four. Now this next puzzle was asked in a Google interview. You are trapped in a room with no food and no water. After two days, you get four bottles of milk out of which one of them is poisonous. Sadly, you have no one other than a rat to test the milk, but the poison's effect shows up only 10 hours after it's fed. You need to drink three safe bottles of milk in the next 24 hours or you will die. You are also given a timer. So how can you find three safe bottles? You might think that you will feed the rat every 10 hours and wait for the result. But you will not have enough time left for the third test and your soul will leave your body. So what to do now? Here's the trick. Feed the rat from the first bottle and start the timer. Then, after one hour, feed the rat from the second bottle, and after two hours, feed the rat from the third bottle. If the rat dies after 10 hours, the first bottle is poisonous. If the rat dies after 11 hours, then the second bottle is poisonous. If the rat dies after 12 hours, third bottle is poisonous, else the fourth bottle is poisonous. Brilliant, isn't it? In a village where everyone sleeps at different times, Five friends, Alice, Bob, Clara, Dan, and Emma, each have a unique bedtime order. Alice says, I sleep after Bob, but before Clara. Clara says, Dan sleeps before me, but after Emma. Emma says, I sleep before Bob. Based on these statements, can you tell me who sleeps first and last in the village? Let us analyze the statements step by step. Label them as A, B, C, D, and E like this. Alice says, I sleep after Bob, but before Clara. This means the order includes Bob, then Alice, then Clara, or B, A, and C. Now Clara says, Dan sleeps before me, but after Emma. This means the order includes Emma, then Dan, and then Clara, or E, D, and C. Emma says, I sleep before Bob. This means the order is E, and then B. Now let us connect all the clues. From Emma's statement, we know that E is less than B, and from Alice's statement, B is less than A, and A is less than C. So after combining them, we get the order E, B, A, and C. Now from Clara's statement, we are told that E is less than D, and D is less than C. This means D will come somewhere in between E and C in this list. And thus it is clear that the first one to sleep in the village is Emma, and the last one is Clara. But let's be honest, no matter when you go to bed, quality sleep matters more than the timing. That's why I want to tell you about something that changed how I sleep, the Manta Sleep Mask. Whether you're like Emma, dozing off early, or more of a Clara, catching sleep at sunrise, this mask gives you 100% blackout, anytime, anywhere. It's soft, adjustable, and doesn't press on your eyes so you can blink freely or even nap in bright daylight. Customer reviews are generally super positive, highlighting the mask's comfort and effectiveness in blocking light. Use the link provided in the description and don't forget to apply the code BS10 to get 10% off on your Manta sleep mask because better sleep means a better you. Ready for the next puzzle? How can you take two from five and leave four? At first, it seems impossible because if you take two away from five, you should have three left. But this puzzle is not about numbers in the usual way. It's actually about letters and words. Think of the word five, which is F-I-V-E, instead of the number five. If you take two letters F and E away from the word five, 
you are left with the letters I and V, which in Roman numeral means four. Isn't that smart? For the next puzzle, how can you place ten coins into three glasses so that each glass contains an odd number of coins? At first, this seems impossible, because three odd numbers cannot add up to ten, which is an even number. For example, if you try three coins in this glass, then three coins in this glass, and three coins in this glass, you only get nine coins, and one coin will be left. If you place this one coin in any of the glasses, you will end up with an even number of coins in one of the glass. So what's the trick? Instead of thinking about the coins, think about the glasses. You can place this glass inside this one, so that this glass now has seven coins, and this remaining glass has three coins. Here's another fun puzzle for you to try. You are given a big arrow shape that is made using matchsticks. Your task is to move just four matchsticks and turn the one big arrow into two smaller arrows. That means you cannot move more than four sticks. You also cannot break any of the matchsticks or add new ones. All the sticks you use must come from the big arrow that is already there. Can you solve this one? First move this matchstick, and now we can move only three matchsticks. Next move this matchstick here, and now we can move only two matchsticks. Then move this matchstick here, and now we can move only one matchstick. Finally, move this matchstick here, and we are done. We indeed get two arrows this way. Here's the final puzzle. Draw nine dots as shown here. Your task is to go through all the dots using only four straight lines, but here's the catch. The next line has to start where the last line ended. Like, this is one of the valid moves. First draw this line, then this line, then this line, and finally this line. Although this is a valid move, you can see that we have missed this dot, so it's not the correct answer. Similarly, you can draw this line, then this line, then this line, and finally this line. Again, this is a valid move, but you can see that we have missed these two dots. Thus, it is also not the correct answer. So, can you solve it? Okay, here's how we can solve this. First draw this line, then this, then this line, and finally this. And there we go. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Also, you can support my channel by joining our community and becoming a member. So good.